Hello everyone, Deadeye here, and we're back with another quick play. Today we're quick playing Mao Kenshi. Um, first, for those who don't know, quick play is a video game first impression and demonstration series I do here on this channel. And Mao Kenshi is a turn-based strategy RPG game. Came out of nowhere. Let's take a look, shall we? Faint if these images and this music isn't clear. In the most Got like a fantasy. Of the celestial realm. Rumors Japanese setting. And uprisings are common. But more recent rumors speak of oh, dark move forces mouse. and villages being destroyed. You have been sent to investigate. Well, good. I think I'm a detective then. Okay, Cradle of Shadows. Mission details. In the most remote islands of the Celestial Realms, rumors of rebels and uprisings are common. But more recent rumors speak of darker forces and disappearing villagers. You have been sent to investigate. Go. Okay, can we, yeah, while well, it moves this around, right click a tile to preview your travel path. Right click again to start traveling. But red though is bad. Ending a turn, ending your turn refills your energy, click the end turn button. Yep. There's an event a few tiles ahead of you. Events are unique stories where you can make choices that impact your rewards. Step on a tile containing a scroll to start an event. Let's do it. An auspicious encounter. A gigantic monolith towers over a clearing. At its foot, a lonely figure smiles and beckons you closer. You recognize the distinctive clothing of the Flow Keeper monks. This order is tasked with guarding the ancestral gateways between the islands. For most people, these portals are the only way to safely travel from island to island. It is unusual to encounter one alone, separated from the rest of this order. Finally, you have come. The islanders were told of your imminent arrival and see it as an omen of good fortune in these troubled times. Alas, it is the worrying rumors that have started to spread are true. And I fear terrible events are in store. Tread carefully, Mao Kenshi, for the celestial islands are no longer the haven of peace. They once were. Thank you for your warning. I will be on my guard. Gain cards. Did I mention there's a card card system? <laughs> mm. It is just as the tales say, you are powerful and wise, but please beware, in addition to the recent dangers, the terrain in these parts can be quite treacherous. Two safe travel cards. Drag and drop cards to desired tiles or characters to play them. Cards have an energy, a discard, or a gold cost. Dash. Bam. Tiles have different energy costs and grant different strengths and bonuses. Hover over a tile for more details. Okay, I can't only use I can't use a card again, so let us enter. More safe travels. Go. This is two energy that also uses two energy. And I dash into the forest for one, save myself an energy cost, and then I can dash again. Or I can just regular walk. Same effect. Enter. What do we have here? Something is happening here. Or defense from the forest. Okay. I see there's going to be some reading in this. And since this is supposed to be a quick play, pause to read. I'm going to I'm going to cut out my part when I read, okay? So that this doesn't end up being super long. <laughs> all right, all right. So, pause to read this. All right, let's gain strength cards. You swiftly Charge. Taken in by surprise. The impact pushes the man back, which leaves him wide open. You gain four strike and four strength cards. Strength is a damage modifier that boosts damage dealt by one per charge. And I see you are on the field. This will be the last passage you pause someone from passing. Oh, he's got damage and defense bonuses, and I only have defense bonuses. But I have a lot more hit points than he is. So if I was him, I would be worried. Oof. Wait, how come that did... Okay. He hits me with his axe. He's a cowardly bandit. Can I click on this? Okay, cool. Tracking is unlimited, for whatever that means. And he has axes. Does that show me all his cards, or just the cards of his that I've seen? I don't know. It'll matter not. Pause to read here. 
All right, let's see if these nightmare creatures are real. Arrow keys to, yeah, to move. Do we... Oh, okay, we can rotate, cool. And zoom in and out, yeah. Take, wait, no, I should have dashed. Oh, well. And turn, I don't think it matters. This early. Another bandit stands in our way. The defense reduces incoming damage. You can gain defense from certain tiles or card effects. Defense resets at the beginning of each turn. Oh, okay, so that's why we did so little damage. Understood. Well, attack. Right. So it did nine block f four. I guess it did. Yes, eight. That's it's four. Wait. Oh, are these already have the minuses applied? Okay, enter. Shall put my sword away. Oh, he's inflicted one weakness. Current status effects applied on a character below the health bar. Click on the character to open their character sheet. Over a status icon to learn more about it. Weakness reduces damage dealt by one per charge. Ew. Okay, it's four damage. So this did nine before, but four minus. This five. Did it not do nine before? Um, did it do nine before? Because I was in a forest. I am so confused. I guess I it was nine the whole time, maybe, or four the whole time, and maybe I just read the number wrong. Uh, whatever. And uh, I step back. Is he gonna come off his perch? That was foolish of you! But I guess he's only chance to do more damage before he is defeated, because now he no longer has his defense, right? Yes. But this still does four damage. Anyways, killing enemies earns you gold. You can use gold to buy many things in the Celestial Islands. Cool. I guess I, mm. moving between turns is kind of between like combat is kind of annoying. I'm guessing there's like probably a chance or like you know like, in, like invisible things or surprises to happen because otherwise I would like to just have free movement. Uh, pick a card. Deal 10 damage from planes. Reduce the target's defense by 15 first. From planes. From... No, when you're from... Yeah, okay. Deals 10 damage. Reduces the target's defense by 15 first. That seems pretty good. Draw one card. Delay damage. That also seems good. Draw one card per adjacent enemy. Zero. I have none right now. Ooh. More cards. Usually good. Yeah, I guess... I guess... Yeah, for... In battle tactics. Yeah. Should I be min-maxing my travel like this? It's kind of annoying. You know? Let's see this event. Ah, pause to read here. Oh yeah, man, I'll help, don't worry. Pause to read here. Well, it would be rude to deny his sword, I guess. Pause to read here. One extra base rank seems better than uh, temporary gold, no? That's where we're going. It's on fire. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Uh, dash. Landmarks. There's a landmark. You can interact with them, and there are many throughout the Celestial Islands. This one is a village. You can buy new cards here. Your deck will be reset at the start of every mission. Oh, okay. So adapt it to fit your objective. Hover over and click on the landmark to learn more about it. Uh, buy new cards in the marketplace. Gotta, uh, yeah, I can't because I have no movement. Okay. Enter the marketplace. So I have 180 gold. Buy. Strength affects this card three times. Okay, gain two energy. This temporary energy. I have to discard cards, though. 
Deal four damage twice. Ooh. And then delay damage, gain three strength. Alright, we'll do that. Buy a combo, I guess. Alright, thank you, Marketplace. Bye bye. Oh, suddenly, bandits. Also, there's cards here. But that's fine, we'll deal with the bandit first. Um, opening strike. Bang. All right. Not four minus nine makes five damage. That makes sense. Yeah, he weakened me. And of course, I didn't get my combo card. Me, yay. It's okay. I don't think he's much longer for this world. All right. Uh, just fade away in a blood mist. Thank you very much. That dash actually seems really useful because it, you know, saves you on, uh, on, uh, you know, movement cost. Gain two fly. Or other characters. And water tiles. All travel costs are reduced by one. Cool. Or one card per adjacent enemy. I don't want this. Get fly, I guess. Fly. Why am I hurt myself? Oh yeah, lose five health. Yeah, but we're not fighting. Okay, go. <laughs> yeah, a little more distance, and another card. Soaring spirit, gain one fly from hills. Draw one card. Deal 12 damage and inflict 2 weakness. That sounds great. For one. Ephemeral. Destroyed after being played. Ew. Cleanse all negative statuses, recover night health. But it's free, though. I don't seem to have a problem with damage right now, so. Should I heal? Get a heal just in case? For when I need it? Uh, so now that he's on the board, is he gonna move forward? He's not gonna move forward. Hello! Let us combat each other. And what did I get? I got the heavy strength part. Poof. We're already stronger and better. Grab this chest, 80 gold. Go to this shrine. An air of serenity surrounds this hollowed place. Here you can purify yourself and let go of the unnecessary. Destroy cards. Oh, I can pick a card to destroy. Okay, cool. Cards can be upgraded, apparently. Cost 50 per gold. Well, I have nothing I want to get rid of yet, but I can understand the need for that. Discard your hand and gain 10 defense per discarded card. Ooh, it's a lot. Rare. Discard your hand, draw one card per discarded card. Gain one energy. This is actually pretty good, too. And draw and gain one energy when enraged. Zero out of 10, gain two energy. I'm gonna get hold the line. All right. Let's get in position. Take that. And step forward to fight me. Because theoretically that would cost him energy, right? So therefore, you don't be able to attack me once. Or does his magic cost two? His magic costs zero, but he comes with two energy. I'm confused. Anyways. Strength affects this card three times. Still confused a little bit by what that means. No oh, biggie. He's done for. This guy. Uh, you can upgrade uh, your cards in dojos. Upgraded cards. Stronger and allow you to improve your deck without lowering your chances of drawing card you want. I like card upgrades. Um, step here. Riding the wind is dash one tile for every two strength you have. I'm gonna discard your hand, draw one, yeah. Hold the line's good. Armor sounds good too. Let's take the, let's take the armor. Um, give me a card. Let me damage him. Cool. Taking care of. And turn, let's check out this dojo. 
Dojo Sensei nods as you approach. Come, Samurai. There is always room for one more student, and I live to teach. Okay. So this just goes from 6 to 10. Confused why the number go the way it go. Did that just happen? I didn't mean to by clicking it. Wait. Um. It didn't just happen. Okay, I need to pay down here. Okay. Upgrade this. Oh. This is not too bad. You spend this right before going into a fight. Turn that off. This doesn't seem to change anything. Change its cost? Oh, it changes its cost. That's good. Draw one card, deal nine damage. Draw two cards, deal nine damage. I'll take that instead. Okay. I like the idea of dashing into a fight and having more hit points. And did that give me enough to upgrade? No. Okay. Okay, space, auto centers. Um, this guy looks special. Oh, we are... Okay, so that means we see me good. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. Come to me and my 30 defense. Oh, he's got range attacks. Okay, never mind. I should have known. He looks like a magic person. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's not the one that I upgraded. <laughs> oh, well, let's go ahead. Femoral, play this card to destroy it. When drawn, lose two health. Rude. Um. I'm just gonna focus on damaging him. Ooh, you running away, huh? Did we draw it? No, we're still at 91. I'm confused. Why that didn't count as a draw. I have enough to kill this fella. Let's move in. Finish him off. Ah, I'll take that. I'll push him. And we've made it to the village. Let's see what's going on in the village. I need to wait a turn. Does enter pass turn? No. Is there a hotkey to pass turn? It's there. There ain't a lot of uh, buttons to check here. Okay, cool. Let's go. An eerie atmosphere reigns over this place. Move here to fulfill the quest. Search the abandoned village. Pause to read here. Oh, let's choose to study our surroundings and gain defense. You carefully analyze the area, you gain uh, eight defense for this turn. Cool. Oh, I'm surrounded. I'm like real surrounded. But I'm full health, so I think I'm pretty good. This guy's got an attack advantage on us. Uh, so let's take care of him first. Okay, cool. Now we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> now I have the advantage, losers. Goblin warrior. Okay. Oh, I still have this in my deck. Oh, lame. Okay. Well, never mind then. I should have got rid of it. Mm. I think we're doing pretty good here. This is what you get for destroying the village. Certain death. To solve the mystery of the abandoned village. Challenge. First feat. A Russian, ten enemies killed, one mission success, and the rest. Hey, cool. Oh. Oh. When drawn, recover four health. Uh, recover eight health. You know it's common, but that's a lot of health to recover. Heal eight damage increased by seven per fly. Eight is all your fly. Uh, deal seven damage twice when flying. Recover eight health. Well, I do have that flying card, but I get new cards per mission, so I need to rebuild it every time. Where this just seems good, kind of all the time. 
even though it's common and these are rare. Oh wait, did I get all of these? Never mind. I thought I was picking one. Okay. Um. Okay. Welcome to the realm screen. Additional missions will unlock after you complete story missions. Strengthen your Mahakenshi. Mahakenshi tab. Complete missions earn crystals. Okay. Uh, challenges are optional objectives that can be achieved in each mission and grant additional crystals. Uh, you can unlock more cards, equipment, talismans by leveling up your Mahakenshi. So, there are four unlocked Mahakenshi up here, and uh, one of them might be turtle based, so, Kim gets a plus from me though. Um, we're gonna stop here. Uh, this is Mahakenshi. I'm liking the, the mix of strategy and card uh, deck building game. Very solid foundation. The setting's really nice. I wanna see more of this myself. Um, the only the only real criticism I have is like walking between fights, but it's not too bad. And once I get used to it, probably probably won't even really notice it. Um, but yeah, that was it for me today. Uh, this game is pretty good. Check it out if you're interested. If you like this video, do please subscribe. Daily uploads on this channel, new video every day, 3 p.m. Eastern time, mostly let's plays, and I do quick plays when I have time for them. All right, all right, that's it for me today. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye now. I like this setting. Did I mention that?